Hello friends, in this video we are going to be cover how to get request token, access token and creating the session ID using post and get method. At the same time we are going to be focus how to travel between get method to post method in postman. This is the two things we have to cover in this video. Let's go to Chrome browser. Already I opened one site. The site is the moviedb.org. This is the free website which is best to practicing APA automation and as well as manual going to be practiced in Postman. Okay. So once you have to launch this site, first you have to register here. Once you will be registered here, that APA key generated for your login credential. Okay. Already I signed it successfully using my account. Now click on this profile icon. Come to the settings. If you see in the settings page in that left side there is APA option is there. Right. You have to select here. Under this section you will be get APA key. Right. So once you have to done registration after lagging successfully you will be get this APA key with the help of APA key only you can able to perform all the basic authorization authentications flow using gate and post method in postman got it so this is the first steps you have to complete it next I'm going to be show you what is the APA call and how that request URL we will get so here you have seen documentation right you have to click on this documentation link which is developers.bmovie.org if you click this one directly navigating to APA document section it is loading wait for complete this load okay here you have seen right in the left side the different section is available account authentication certification the list of things right in this video we are going to be covering the first one which is authentication okay here we have to travel between gate and post method got it so now I'm going to be start here come to the point create guest session so what is this method get method right so if you've seen here the authentications what is the exactly required here APA key the string we should be pass for performing this get create guest session got it now go back to postman already I done this collections of uh, gate and post anyhow again I'm going to be create this collection for showing to you okay how we can perform got it so now I have to click on three dot click on add collection create new collection so here Natasha take uh, authentication okay so this is the my collection name I have to create it so now it is was empty right I'm going to be create request so what is the first request here get one create session ID right so now click on this try it out here they gave one URL this is the request URL but anyhow here we need to pass APA key got it so now I have to copy this request URL go to postman here click on three dot click on add request here you have to select which method you are going to be select here anyhow this request it's going to be updated as a get method got it now I'm going to be choose as get method alone now I'm going to be paste the request URL which is I copied from this from here okay sorry so here that APA key is null. I need to pass here some value. What is the value? 
So here I need to copy this value API key E3 authentications. Copy. Go to postman. After equal, you have to remove everything. You have to paste over here. Got it? Now that API key and value has been updated successfully under parameter section. Once you have to paste over in request URL. Got it? So what is this one near request name? I have to rename it. With the first one, create session ID, right? This is the name. Let me check. Sorry, create guest session. I have to rename it again. Create guest session. Okay. So now I'm going to be hit this API call. Let's see what is the output we will get. The success it is was true and we received the guest session ID right our response is, uh, response is 200 if it is 200 means it is very good okay now we have guest session ID next what is the next API call create request instruction got it click on the same thing here also you have to check what is the parameter required API key the same so what is the API URL? This is the one, request URL, okay? Go to Postman. Have to create another request. Click on Add Request. What is the name? Create Request Token. This is the second one. So what is the request URL? This is the one. Have to copy. Go to postman, give this URL the same way we have to give API key. You have to remove this one. Again, go back to your API key section page. Copy this one. Come back to postman, paste over here. Okay, now it was updated successfully. I'm going to be hit this URL. Let's see what is the response we will receive. Here also the uh, true, the 200 response code we received. Here it was generated request token. Now we are completed to get call. Next we are jumping to the post call. Okay, Go back to the URL. Here you have seen three post call. So now I am going to be take the second post call which is create session with login. Okay, So click on this one. Come to here. So here also we have to pass this API key as a parameter. Click on try it out. So here we have to pass username and password. Request token. What is the request token? I will tell you here. Uh, you have to copy this request URL. Go to postman. Create another one request. You have to put as post method paste URL. Now we have to take API key. API. So this is my API key. have to copy, paste over here. I just remove, paste. So now we are passed API key successfully and in body I have to give three values, right? Which is one. This is the three value I have to pass. Username and password request record. You just to copy this sample request body. The same you are going to be paste here. Okay. So here, what is the username? My username is Antasa take if you want confirm go to the settings have to confirm here this is the Natasa tech this is my username got it like this you have to verify from your end next I'm going to be enter my password that finally I have to paste request token so before we have generated request token in git call right go to this previous git call 
copy this request token which is get from here i just save it now you have to paste here okay now click on send button let's see what is the result success it was true we are receiving 200 response code here we are getting the same request token this is the expected good behavior of the response so i have to rename this one create session with login id okay have to rename it create session login okay next i'm coming to the fourth uh, sorry this first one create session click on this create session again i have to check what is the parameter we have to pass the same look like api key i have to take request url come here copy this request url go to postman again i have to create on request which is post method have to paste over here the same you have to copy this api key have to save it here and i have to rename create session okay so hit this api call false because i need to give body as request token okay go to this one how to copy the sample one paste over here the request token which is generated with the create session login you have to copy from here this response go to this create session paste over here success it was true session id it was created okay this is the fourth one now we are completed two post call we have to check another post call let's see what is that one so that final one create session from v4 access token click on this one so what is the parameter we have to pass api key right the request body we should pass as access token got it now i have to copy this request url add new request which is post one so the post method I have to rename it create sorry create session from v4 access token paste this request url here you have to pass api key value copy paste okay so now we have updated api key what is the other one we have to pass in request body we have to give access token right have to copy the sample request body select raw and select as json format paste over here so now we have to need take access token so for my account there is read access token okay after this api key you get it api read access token this one right this is the access token value which is generated for your account okay for my account this is the value so now i have to copy i just remove everything here click on send button so here you have seen it is 401 which means unauthorized is not here true so what happened it is showing a status messages this token has not been granted right permission by the user which means does not have permission for 
this access token okay we should approve this one how we can do that so this is the url how to use if you are using this website for practicing this api call so this server will give you the additional url for approving the access token i will share those url in my youtube video description okay you will uh, re, um, check and they have to approve your access token okay now i have to copy this access token I have to put over here click on get records token after clicking on get records token you will be get approve token the second one the third finally you will get access token click on approve token after clicking on approve token you will be get another one window here you should approve that one after approve it will be give you the some success message your token was approved successfully how to close this window i'm going to be close that finally i have to get access token okay click on access token this is my access token value what it here i'm going to be remove those value paste click on send button now you have seen it was success true 200 response we received okay finally we are removing this value the final stage delete session okay so here here you have to give api key okay what is this request url so the one now i'm going to be create delete sorry add request here i have to put delete method give request url here i have to give api key value api key so now i'm going to be so the request body should pass which is session id right so the session id I have to copy click on body raw and json paste over here what is the session id so that finally session id we will receive here right i have to copy this one I have to paste over the session here I have to hit this request true the session was deleted successfully okay so this is the way how to follow for uh, creating the session and how the token value we are going to be uh, get and how to pass into the post that finally how how we can remove those things so in this video we are covered get post delete